Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I filmed. Um, I just feel like it's hard to figure out what to film, I guess. And if it's going to interest people at all. Um, but I decided to continue and um, do a video that I know I would personally be interested in if I was a viewer. Um, and that is going to be a review on the Kat Von D Tattoo Lock It Concealer. Um, many of you know that I do use the foundation and I got the concealer in light 16. So I've already applied my uh, moisturizer. I'm going to go in with my beauty blender here and I do wash it about once a week. I'm also going to go in with my um, Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Foundation. I actually had to get a lighter color because um, the color wasn't matching my neck. So this is in light 45. Um, I used to be light 48. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in with this concealer. Use my mirror for my palette. Uh, basically, I'm just going to let you know how I, what I think about the concealer, if I feel like it covers well, or so on. I have been using my NARS, um, this one, my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I'm going to kind of do like in comparison video. This one is in Light 2 Vanilla, and I absolutely love it. So, just kind of curious as to how the Kat Von D compares. So I'm going to put a little bit, I'll do under my eyes. This is a lot lighter. I can already notice that it's a lighter feeling. I'm going to go under my eyes, my forehead, my chin. I'm going to go in with my beauty blender here and just see. I'm going to go ahead and dab everywhere that I just applied it. So far, it, it covered well. It covered my blemishes pretty well. Um, in comparison to the NARS, I would say it's about the same. What I always do is I do a, a little bit of concealer before I go in with my foundation. And then if I still have areas that are bothering me, I'll go in with the concealer on top of the foundation as well. So I'm just going to take a few pumps of my foundation here. And I'm going to put them all over my face. So far, I think it blends really well with the Kat Von D foundation, better than the NARS one. But I don't know if the, if it covers as much as the NARS did. I don't know. Okay, so at this point, I just go back in with the concealer a little bit. You can see the color on my hand. It's a it's pretty much lighter because I did get some color to my body this last couple weeks. Should I go? So I'd have to say overall, it does cover very well. Um, I like it. I do like it. I will be back with the finished um, look. It's just a simple everyday look with minimal makeup. Um, but I just wanted to go over this concealer and give a review for it. This is the finished look using the um, Kat Von D Tattoo Lock It Concealer. And I actually went really light. I used the shade Light 16, but it seems to work um, just because I feel like 
if you use a light concealer it can work as like a highlighter um for like under your eyes and bridge of your nose and stuff like that so that's why i use that light of concealer which i actually ended up liking um but i i think honestly that the kat von d um is really really similar to the nars um creamy radiant concealer there's just the texture and everything is really similar and um I even bought like almost the same color I feel like but I don't know I really do like it it's um it's natural and it blends with my um foundation really well so I just wanted to do a review on that um I've actually had it like laying around in my room for a long time and I was like I need to do something with it um so yeah, stay tuned for more um, videos and I have mascara on my face for more videos and uh, reviews. Um, feeling kind of lost lately and when I say lost, I mean lost with just where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to be doing in life. Um, I'm just like at a point in my life where I don't know where I'm supposed to be. Um, I went to school for something I really enjoy, but my previous experience with that with that job um, wasn't the best and my self-esteem has taken a huge dive because of that um, and how it ended, I should say. I just know that I don't want to be someone who is always working for someone. I want to be somebody who works for themselves and I know that takes a lot of time and it doesn't come super easy. Um, and I would absolutely love to continue with YouTube and do more videos and be um, be more uh, prompt with it but I feel like my personal issue of my self-esteem gets in the way and I let I let what myself thinks about myself cause me to stop if that makes any sense I know that I have a huge passion for for makeup for fashion for skincare for animals I have a huge passion for but I just don't know like I don't know how to approach my next step in life if that makes any sense so I just wanted to mention a um, site I've been using for a couple days now um, it's super cool it's called Merce I don't know how to here I'll flip this around It's called Merci Merci Markry. Um, basically, you just put your whatever you want for sale, and then you ship it. It's just like a buy sale, buy and sell website with other girls. Um, they've got everything from like shoes to bras to swimsuits, um, a whole bunch of cool stuff. Uh, I just thought it was really cool because there's a bunch of like beauty products on there as well that you can find for a better price um, And if it's like face products, then it's not used like you can't sell them if they're used um, But yeah, just thought I would let you guys know about that. It's pretty cool I've been on it quite a bit lately and the customer service um, For their site is really really good um, like if you're concerned if you're not going to get the item or something, then you can email them and they're like really, really good about it. Um, so yeah, just thought I would mention that. So I just finished getting ready. Um, I have an interview today and <clears throat> I did this like top bun thing. I don't know, I have all these hairs in the back of my head that are like super short and annoying and I can't stand it, but... Um, yeah, I'm going to put some lipstick on here. One of my go-to lipsticks and lip liners is, uh, let's see, Cream Sheen Shy Girl MAC. This is the lipstick. And then the liner that 
I'm loving is to go with it called Spice and it looks like this. So I'm just gonna do that and then get into some clothes. It's really loud. I'm just gonna apply this now. I kind of like to do the ombre effect, so I'll go in after I put the lipstick on and just like go on the outside and give it like the like the ombre effect. Okay, so this is the full makeup look. Pretty simple. Um, using the Naked Three palette on my eyes and. Um, Anastasia brow dip in um, the powder, the like packed powder. What is this? Brow powder duo. So it's like the packed hard one. But yeah, I'm gonna go get changed and deal with this little doggy. Yes, yes. But yeah, so I have an interview today and then I'm just kind of hanging out. I have to go to um, Eastern Oregon this weekend for my cousin's wedding. So get ready for that. And then I ordered my wedding invites, our wedding invites, and so they should be in the mail, I don't know, in a couple days. Actually today. So I'll probably start addressing them and getting those out even though... I won't be sending them out for another month or so. Just want to get it done. What are you doing, sis? She has a complete obsession with burying things. I don't know if anyone else's dogs do that, but it's it kills me. Like she in general just kills me. Look at her. It's like look at her. Hey, sissy. <gasps> I love you. She is, I just can't take her. Okay, one thing I do want to totally rave over for a minute is um, this Michael Kors perfume. It is in Glam Jasmine. It is seriously like, <sighs> so I've tried a lot of perfumes in my days and none of them like stick with you, if that makes sense. Like, Throughout the day, um, I can totally smell this on me and it's just amazing. So it is seriously so warm today. Like my car says 78, but it's supposed to get up to 82. And then tomorrow it's 84 and then 84 a couple other days of the week. Um, so yeah, I'm just driving to my interview. I live out in this wooded area, which I really like. It's really, um, no, it's really pretty and my hair is just I, does anyone else have that problem where like they have the little um hairs on the back of their head that are broken off oh i can't stand it cannot stand it so i just had some oatmeal um it's like this low carb oatmeal it's really good um and then i had some yogurt it's like low carb too I try to stay on my low carb but honestly I've been working out the last three months pretty religiously quite a bit of cardio and some weights and I haven't noticed any difference in my body which is really 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 frustrating to me so I don't know I just think that I may be meant to be a bigger person and I don't know. I'm probably not doing something right, but I don't really have money to... Ew, a bunch of dust just came in. I don't really have money to pay a trainer, so that's where I'm at. Okay, I'll talk to you after the interview. Bye-bye. So I'm home now, and I just had some lunch. Um, I had some avocado chicken and tomato and... It, like Italian sauce in there. That's what's left. Um, 
And now I'm just watching some YouTube. I'm watching um, La Vida de Meg. I don't know how you say it. Um, but I'm watching her new vlog. And yeah. Um, my love course is right next to me. Sis, what are you doing? Why are you staring at me, honey? Some Diet Cherry Coke. Um, I kind of wanted to talk about the previous clip when I was like venting to you guys. Um, I don't know if anyone else ever gets that feeling of just like lost basically. Like you're lost in your own feelings and you feel like you don't really belong anywhere or you have, I don't know. I get like that like before that time of the month I'll get like super sad and depressed and um just venting and it felt good um but yeah i don't know if any of you guys can relate to that i get those days and they're not fun just but i feel so much better today i feel like i've got more drive and ambition and i'm not as depressed i don't know if that makes sense um yeah it's just not not fun when you feel like that I know diet's not good for you, but I'm drinking diet cherry coke. <clears throat> so yeah, anyway, thought I would check in and that's about it. So they turned out pretty cute. Here's the front. And then the back is this dark blue color. And they say A and T. So I'm pretty happy.